Hey everybody! In my last video I talked about my top 5 favorite features on my Google Pixel Fold, but one thing I never mentioned or really brought up was taking photos with the phone, and the reason for that wasn't because I think that the camera on the Pixel Fold is subpar or not worth mentioning, it was actually just that I thought there were so many things I was going to want to talk about or bring up that I didn't think it would be right to try and cram it all into one video, especially if I'm trying to keep these between 10 and 15 minutes. I thought the camera would be better off to leave for its own video because there's a lot that I want to cover here. And despite the price tag, we are getting a lot for the cost of this device. Maybe not as much as we're getting with other phones, but I'm going to break it down and go over the most notable things with you here in this video. With the Google Pixel Fold, there are five camera lenses on the device. Three on the rear end, giving us a 10.8 megapixel wide angle camera, a 48 megapixel main shooter, and a 10.8 megapixel telephoto lens. This telephoto lens gives us five times optical zoom and also up to 20 times zoom when taking photos or recording video. We have two front facing cameras, one on the external cover display, which is a 9.8 megapixel camera. On the inner display, it is an eight megapixel camera, definitely the weakest of the bunch. You cannot use this to uh, do a face unlock for your phone. Uh, you can only do that using the cover screen camera. It shouldn't be any surprise for you guys to hear that this phone can take really great and beautiful shots. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you on screen some of the photos I've taken with this phone here in Lane County, with some different flowers and stuff that I've taken while out on hikes. And then I'm also going to show you some pictures of some photos I took today, both on the Google Pixel Fold and photos taken on the Pixel A Pro. Now, I had to go ahead and label these photos just because of how good the camera quality was on both photos. It was, you know, there's no way for me to tell which is which just by looking at them. I had to label them as I was doing it just because the quality was so close, I couldn't really tell that much of a difference. The only time I could really tell a difference is when I'm using the wide angle because on the Pixel Fold, it's only a 0.6 times zoom, where on the Pixel 8 Pro, it's a half time zoom. Of course, it's not just about the photo quality, it's also how well it can take video. So I'm going to show you how to use the rear camera selfie mode to take good videos of yourself. Then I'm going to show you how the videos look on the other lenses on this camera, like on the external screen and on the inner displays camera. Now, in order to take a rear camera selfie with this phone, you first have to unfold the device. And then once you do, as you can see, we can use the rear camera and then the external cover screen to make sure that the photos we're taking with it are good. Ooh, make sure that we're actually in frame. Now, I don't always use this feature when I'm using this phone, but for the times that it comes in handy, it really, really comes in handy. Now, finally, here I am recording using the rear cameras on the Pixel Fold. Uh, I'm using the uh, rear camera selfie that I showed you just a second ago to record. That's how I'm able to keep it somewhat steady, even though I'm only using one hand and I'm holding it by the clicker. It's also how I'm able to make sure that I am the center, I am in frame, I'm not out of frame, and not struggling to get myself in the actual shot. Right now, I'm using the external cover screen camera, the 9.5 megapixel, and I'm trying to record right now at 60 frames per second in 4K. I think it's doing a pretty good job. I can see it looks a little bit shaky. Uh, and then, of course, as far as the sound quality goes, you guys will have to be the judge of that. Now, this time, I'm using probably the weakest camera, which is going to be the, uh, the 8 megapixel inner display camera. Uh, still pretty good, honestly. Uh, now this one I don't think can go up to uh, 4K and 60 frames per second, but it still is a pretty solid camera. Definitely not the one that you're going to use as often, but if you do want to do something like Skype with someone, do a video chat, it is going to work well enough to get the job done. Another great thing that this camera can do is record video in slow motion up to 240 frames, which I will go ahead and show you now.
Now the last thing I'm going to talk about with this phone and its camera is going to be Photosphere. I've mentioned Photosphere before and I've made a lot of little shorts about it, kind of showing you guys what it is or at least showing myself enjoying it. Now Photosphere is a feature that was put on this phone and that is the last time Google has put that feature on a phone. If you got the Google Pixel 8 or the 8 Pro, I'm sorry to say you do not have Photosphere, but if you got any of the Pixel 7s, the 7a or the Pixel Fold, then this is a feature you can use and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use it. Now we have our Pixel Fold and when I make the Photospheres, I kind of like to try and center it as best I can and then kind of have my pinky down here just to kind of help guide it. That way I can keep it in the same shot. And this is kind of what I mean when I say guided, just making sure that I do fill in these photos without moving it too much. One of the tricky things about making these photo spheres is that if you don't have a tripod or like a good stick to keep your phone in one spot, then it can come out really wonky. In fact, I can kind of notice one trouble I'm having here, just keeping it in a nice good spot. That way we don't have any weird overlaps during the final product. Oh, you know what actually? One thing you can do is you can go back and retake shots if you don't think they turned out very well. Now, I'm sure many of you may have heard before that when it comes to the Google Pixel Fold and even other foldable phones out there, that the cameras really aren't that strong given how expensive the phone is. And I have to say that that is true, but you have to keep in mind the reason that a foldable phone is as expensive as it is, isn't for the camera. That's not the reason people are going to buy phones like this. It's for the folding screen and some of those other technologies that are very expensive to create at this point. Uh, but with that being said, the camera is a great camera. Now maybe it's not as strong as some of the other camera phones out there, like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but it still is a really strong phone, especially when you look at some of the other ones out there like the uh, iPhone 15 Pro, Pro Max, the Samsung S24, uh, and of course other phones like the Pixel 8 Pro. The Pixel Fold is able to kind of slide in there, and if you were to compare the photos side by side with a lot of them, it'd be really hard to tell the difference between which is which, unless you had a lot of experience with each individual phone. Now, all in all, I'm gonna say the camera on the Google Pixel Fold is a great camera and I have been more than happy with it. Yes, it can be frustrating to feel like companies are cutting corners sometimes, but I don't feel like a lot of corners were cut with this one. Uh, and I don't feel like the Pixel 8 Pro is really that much better than this device when it comes to the camera quality. I mean, as I kind of showed you here in this video, the photo quality is so incredibly close that I don't think it matters. It is true that the Pixel 8 Pro does have a few more camera settings. It has, has some of the Pro settings, but I really don't think that those matter as much. When it comes to most of the photos you're gonna take with a phone like this, uh, I think this is good enough. I don't think you're gonna really feel like you compromised when it came to the camera, unless of course you were trying to think of whether or not to buy this, or like the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's really the only camera that I would say is the best out there not in terms of the quality, but just in terms of what you can actually do with it. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions specifically on what this phone can do, please let me know down below. If you feel like maybe there are some things that you wanna to add to it or some things that you'd like to see I didn't talk about, I'd love to talk with you guys down there, kind of brainstorm for what else to do when it comes to the camera on this device. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the night and uh, I'll see you next time.